Hello there, and welcome to YouTube West and our show Studio 7. It's baseball season, and because it's baseball season, I decided to pick a baseball movie to start with today. However, it's not your regular type of baseball movie. It's a Brad Pitt baseball movie, and it's called Moneyball, which is a 2011 film directed and, uh, excuse me, directed by Bennett Miller from a screenplay from Steven Zillion and Aaron Sorkin. The movie stars Brad Pitt, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Jonah Hill. Brad Pitt in this movie plays manager Billy Bean, and he was a one-time player who I don't, I don't really know if you could say didn't amount to anything, because that's an unfair statement to be made about some baseball players. But uh, he ends up going through the management game and ends up becoming the manager of the Oakland A's at a time when they are the underdog, the lowest team in the league for money. And he brings this team using these ideas that uh, Jonah Hill's character in the movie and Brad Pitt come up with to field a whole new kind of ball game, a ball game that gets, gets the job done. And if there is one performance in this movie, other than Brad Pitt's, that should be noted, it should be Jonah Hill's. If you haven't noticed, that gentleman is a very plain individual with an outstanding ability to fill a role. Size with him does not matter. Looks do not matter. When he's playing this kind of character that you find in Moneyball, you have paid an amount of money and you've gotten every cent for it. Because everybody in this movie is strong. Jonah's, Jonah Hill's performance is incredible. And with Brad Pitt and the two of them working the angle together of taking the Oakland A's at the time, a very uncompetitive, underfunded team and making them something to be watched, something to behold, something to, to like about the word baseball and to take the money out of it is incredible. I have a lot of fun watching this movie. And I was working on another movie and we saw Brad Pitt, we were talking about famous speeches and that movie was in 12 o'clock high, some of Gregory Peck's speeches. And when I looked back at some of those speeches online, Moneyball kept popping up and I was going, man, I don't remember any of those speeches in Moneyball. I don't remember any of those strong character leads. I mean, I remember I liked the movie. I, you know, you should like the movie. It's a seven out of seven movie. It's that good. Is it better than Trouble with a Curve? Yes, it is. Sorry, Clint, it, it is. And I might call your movie a seven out of seven for a baseball movie, but the truth is, Moneyball earns all the respect, all the awards, and all the accolades that it got. And I went back and watched it again. And the reason why was because those kind of speeches, those leadership roles, those understanding and dedication to the game, to the ability, to the, to the players, to the idea of baseball is in this movie. And all of the actors in this movie have that same dedication to their craft. And I talk a lot about that in my reviews about how cast can make or break a movie and they really can as much as a script can make or break a movie or the way it's filmed can make or break a movie but in this movie you have all of it um, the movie is partially produced by brad pitt it's based on a book called the art of winning an unfair game by michael lewis i don't know who he is michael i i haven't read your book and i probably won't read your book but for whatever it's worth your book produced one hell of a screenplay and one great movie. So if you get a chance, baseball season's coming up. Watch a good baseball movie. This is one of them. It's called Moneyball with Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West on YouTube West. Thank you very much.